Hey guys, this is Lawrence from buildmyecommerce.com. I had a viewer from my YouTube channel asking how to upload product images using the CSV product import extension. So I thought I'd share that information with you. Uh, so I have these six images, uh, the product images that I downloaded and I want to upload these six images. So the first thing I have to do is select all and then compress the six items. I'm just going to rename this dresses and I want to upload this file uh, to my file manager here. So you have to log into the uh, C panel uh, where you're hosting your web store and then go to the file manager and then locate the folder where you install the open card and then go into the image folder and data and I'm going to create a new folder in here called addresses create new folder go inside that folder and then I'm going to click upload choose file highlight the zip file we just created and then click open it's complete go back select the file and then click extract extract files close and I'm just gonna delete this folder and then the uh, the dresses.zip because we don't need that anymore so here are my six images in here uh, one other thing I have to do is change the uh, the permissions right now it's set to 0600 I'm going to change the permission all I have to do is highlight the file all, all the files in here right click on it and change permissions and then I'm going to change it to uh, 755 so I can access the files change permissions and then what we have to do is um, create a CSV file so that we can upload so I'm using a Google spreadsheet and I've already uh, pre-populated the uh, information in here so the only thing that's missing are the file names for the main product image so we only have six products in here but let's say you have hundreds of products you don't want to copy and paste individual file names in here so I'm just going to show you a quicker way to do that so uh, just note that I'm using Mac OS in here so if you're using PC I did find a couple of other uh, resources online that might help you out and I'll share that information towards the end of this video so here I have the six files select all the files right click on it copy six items and then next you want to open up the text edit program this comes with the uh, Mac OS so go to edit paste and match style and it copies and pastes the actual file names in here I'm just going to copy this one and then paste it in here so that's how quickly you can uh, copy and paste all the file names so once that's done let's uh, click file here and then download as uh, CSV comma separated values okay now let's log into the at uh, the back end of your open card store and you want to go into the system CSV product import and I want to add new records field delimiter we we'll change that to comma and then this section is important here path to image directory so it wants to know where all the image is located let's enter the data forward slash dresses so where did I get uh, this from so if you remember if you go back to the file manager uh, we uploaded the images into by going into the image folder and data and dresses so here are the six images so that's the image directory path that we see right here and I'm just change this default category to dresses and 
for file choose file and I'm going to my downloads folder and here's the CSV file that I downloaded click open and then click next and then click next again and it's going to start uh, importing uh, it's done click done now when we go to the storefront go to the dresses uh, we can see those six products we just uploaded so here are the images and that's it um, so like I said if you're using a PC I did find a couple of websites one of them is uh, awdesigns.com and they have this post called how to export file names into a text file and it gives you a step by step on how to do that and there's also this program called file names export uh, that you can download I believe is free and you can rename uh, sorry not rename you can uh, export the file names as a CSV file um, if you do try these two methods please let me know if they, they actually work or not and you can just leave me a comment or uh, send me an email to buildmyecommerce at gmail.com thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time